Good day to you future LPT, let us review. Licensure examination for teachers, English major, actual let questions part 1. Are you ready? Let us begin. Question number 1. He was the great genius of the Elizabethan era 1564-1616. A. Leo Tolstoy. B. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. C. William Shakespeare. D. Rabindranath Tagore. The correct answer is letter C. William Shakespeare. Question number 2. It refers to the process of relating learning content specified in the curriculum to local information and materials from the learner's community. A. Indigenization. B. Contextualization. C. Enculturation. D. Localization. The correct answer is letter D. Localization. Question number 3. Split infinitives are considered to be this type of grammatical error. A. Dangling modifier. B. Misplaced modifier. C. Faulty parallelism. D. Tense modifier. The correct answer is letter B. Misplaced modifier. Question number 4. Blank are variant form of pronunciation of a phoneme that occur because of the phonological environment. A. Morpheme. B. Allomorphs. C. Allophones. D. Phonetics. The correct answer is letter C. Allophones. Question number 5. What is the overarching literary style of the book or revelation? A. Narrative. B. Apocalyptic. C. Wisdom. D. Epistolary. The correct answer is letter B. Apocalyptic. Question number 6. This type of language skill is used formally by academic students. It can be formally defined as the language that is necessary for academic success in different content areas. A. Cognitive academic language proficiency. B. Basic interpersonal communication skills. C. Intrapersonal communication. D. Communication process. The correct answer is letter A. Cognitive academic language proficiency. Question number 7. Linguistic interference occurs when students blank. A. Speak without readiness. B. Learn their mother tongue. C. Learn to speak and hide their fear. D. Learn another language or dialect. The correct answer is letter D. Learn another language or dialect. Question number 8. Everyone met at the contest venue. The capitalized pronoun is an example of a slash and blank. A. 
Interrogative pronoun B. Indefinite pronoun C. Relative pronoun D. Demonstrative pronoun The correct answer is letter B. Indefinite pronoun. Question number 9. In Greek mythology, who slew the Minotaur? A. Heracles. B. Minos. C. Theseus. D. Perseus. The correct answer is letter C. Theseus. Question number 10. Which of the following is used to describe objective reflection on the nature of language? A. Linguistic activity. B. Psycholinguistic awareness. C. Metalinguistic reasoning. D. Morphological pragmatics. The correct answer is letter C. Metalinguistic reasoning. Question number 11. Which of the following is a free morpheme? A. Of. B. Full. C. Re. D. None of the above. The correct answer is letter A. Of. Question number 12. This refers to the way a particular person speaks, at a specific time, as distinct from others. A. Colloquial. B. Idiolect. C. Dialect. D. Mother tongue. The correct answer is letter B. Idiolect. Question number 13. Stylistics links blank. A. Literary criticism to linguistics. B. Literature to literary criticism. C. Linguistics to literary history. D. Language teaching to literature teaching. The correct answer is letter A. Literary criticism to linguistics. Question number 14. In Greek mythology, she was the daughter of Zeus and Leto. A. Priam. B. Helen of Troy. C. Artemis. D. Menelaus. The correct answer is letter C. Artemis. Question number 15. It deals with the level of meaning in language. A. Semantics. B. Discourse. C. Pragmatics. D. Rhetorics. The correct answer is letter A. Semantics. Like, follow, subscribe and share for more videos. Thank you for watching future LPT.